This time we stayed at River Vista RV Resort in Dillard, Georgia, which is about as far northeast as you can get in Georgia. It's a beautiful area and the campground and surrounding area have a lot to offer. We will probably visit again. Check out why. We are Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy duty truck Leroy, our two K&M motorcycles, our DRV Dixie and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. In 300 feet, arrive at 960 Georgia 246 on the right. River Vista is in the Great Smoky Mountains located in Dillard, Georgia and has ultimate quality facilities and landscape beauty set within a mountain valley, all a short distance away from scenic national parks. All RV sites are full hookups with 30 and 50 amps at every pedestal with water, sewer, and digital cable. Wi-Fi is included and is available throughout the campground, but may be limited. We stayed here for four nights with friends and five other campsites. However, we got lucky and we're all together next to the pavilion, which we used a lot. We said, I'm not real sure we're going to fit in there, so we're supposed to be 88 feet long. He goes, yeah, I guess. Well, he goes, I, I'd recommend you do. He goes, pull through, pull your RV all the way up, and then come back around park behind it with the truck. He says it's a little more uneven on that one end. If that doesn't work, they have another site. Okay. So we're right next to them. There's a hundred. There it is. They got to be able to swing your ass around out here, man. Big rock. Back-end RV sites are gravel, pull-through RV sites are paved. One RV and one automobile are allowed per site. Check-in is at 2 p.m. and check-out is at 11 a.m. We are here in site 100 and all of our friends somehow were able to get this entire row camp with us. Plus one more across the way over there. So we have Beth and Dan, and Wes and Carol, and Fran, and Jim, and on the end is Terry and Nancy. We're right across from Pavilion with the TV to watch football, and Fireplace, did a lot of our gatherings for food there, and it has been very nice here. Beautiful campground. We'll take a tour. <laughs> And when you come in, you have the office on the right-hand side. If you want to pull in, I'm going to go check them out. we got a fitness center, registration office, and a club room up here. Let's appear and take a look. Let's go see what the fitness center is. Put the bulletin board up here with all the activities. Hmm. With mirrors. Got a place for late arrivals and they have a little store in here as well. You check in here. They'll give you a card put on your car and they do have some items you might need in here for your RV along with clothing other miscellaneous items ice cream and ice and this is a little club room boy this place is just so well maintained Books, fireplace, very pretty. And let's go up here around, what is that up there? That's the falls that's privately owned. Oh, we won't go up there then. Yeah. But we can follow this around. 
It's right through there by the rough right of the willow tree. And lots of cabins that you could rent. And I believe some of them you can even purchase. Oh, sorry somebody wasn't happy yesterday. <laughs> Alabama game. Yep, they got a little pond over here on the left side. Of course, you can see the mountains in the distance. Just keep taking this all the way around the back. Let's see how we go here. That's us up there with the flag hanging on the back of the truck. The Mountain Village Center. We'll go around the back side of that. More cabins. Oh, more outside than inside here. And looks like they're building more. You could put an addition onto that one. Oh, wow. Yeah, they got like little houses here. This is all part of the falls. Oh, yeah, so people Actually, live, live in these there. Aaron. So we'll go around to the left here then. More cabins. Wow, some of these are pretty good size. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, the parking back here too. Horseshoes. Horseshoes, uh -huh. Got a woodshed. Dog park. A lot of pull throws in here. Full hookups, paved sites. Free Wi-Fi, which actually works, and cable. You guys are hooked up to cable, aren't you? Yeah. Working good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like 50-some channels, too, I yeah, think. Yeah, a lot of channels. And there's the other side of the spa. Let's go to the right. Oh, yeah, you're yeah, right. right. I should have gone that way. Oh, oh, there's the kids' playground. Wow, they got some nice cabins here. It's coming up the road with the pool on the left. And let's go up and up to Monaco. Let's see, where are we here? Yeah, go up to the, all the, the one that you can turn left on up here. Anyway, do not enter. I think you can on the next one. Yeah, this one you can. Okay. There's a dumpster. And these are more sites that people obviously have purchased because they're wide and have all concrete. And you can rent, I think, at least three months at a time here as well. Workers here. They got a lot of people working here too. They're very helpful too. Yeah. Can we go that way? Yeah, we can go that way. There's okay. the gas. Yep, propane. It's kind of about it, isn't it? Just going up and down these streets in here. Yeah. And we'll go back to the other side of the village center because I hear they got even nicer bathrooms down there. Basketball. Yeah, I'll go check these bathrooms out. Oh, they're individual rooms. That's nice. 
So each one of these has their own shower, their own toilet, and their own sink, and a door you can lock. Very clean. And they're close to Clayton and Mountain City. So lots of little flea markets, little restaurants, distilleries, breweries. They're all done. And here's their pavilion. Silly gals are here. Here's their pool, which is now closed. Men's restroom. TV, picnic tables, and the women's bathroom. Very, very clean campground. Very well maintained. And you have a handicap and a regular. Then you have a couple of showers. And the showers have a door. And then they have hooks. Little bench, shower curtain, very clean. I'd have to say we've been to a lot of campgrounds. And this one is super well maintained. Come back out. And here's the pool area. And that building across the way is where the relaxation tubs sort of hot tub is. I'll show you that in a minute. Now this is a big hot tub. Got a little fire going on there and they got a sauna room. Pretty deep. This is the Mountain Village Center building. I haven't been in here yet. Let's check it out. Let's see. It's unlocked. Oh, in this nice. Thank you. Hi. Well, you could do weddings in here. <laughs> oh, yeah. We do all kinds of events in here. Nice. What do you set up for now? Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. We, we see about 250, 300 people for Thanksgiving. How nice. Mm -hmm. Got a nice kitchen back here. It's a nice kitchen. You got four ovens and a griddle. And... How many people actually live here? Yeah. Year round. yeah. This is nice. You guys really keep this is we've traveled all over the United States and this has got to be one of the well kept campgrounds we've ever seen. Oh thank you. We all try really hard. Then, um, you do wine and cheese uh -huh. every Friday night? During the seasons, yeah. Oh uh, like that would be we stop it right at the first of November. Uh-huh. And then we start it back up for Thanksgiving and then it's kind of slow after that. What other kind of events do you guys do in here for the campground people? Uh, we have some crafts. We do some crafts on, in, during October. We also, um, holidays, we have big dance parties and sweet all kinds of fun things. Golf cart parades, tie dye, all very, the fun stuff. Very nice. And what's your name? I'm Sean. You're Sean? Uh -huh. I'm Are the you? activities coordinator. Ah, awesome. They also have these outdoor gas grills over here across from the pavilion and we came out here we all brought a steak out one night and then well, we went over there to the pavilion to eat our dinner. Also behind the pool and spa area is a kids play area. Hi Fran! Hi Lucy! <laughs> RV sites range from $35 to $74 per night depending on the time of year and the site type you choose. They also have camper rentals, which range from $130 to $190 per night, and cabins that range from $122 to $174 per night. Once you've arrived at River Vista, you might choose to chill out by the pool or relax in the enclosed huge hot tub or sauna, or just watch the game at the pavilion while you have a roaring fire in the fireplace. Feel free to use their gas grills and eat at the pavilion too. We did. But if you're craving a little excitement, a little adventure, or a little culture, their front desk is ready and able to recommend a whole host of things to do. There are several indoor and outdoor flea markets nearby, along with a ton of hiking trails nearby. 
Pickens Nose is a super easy beginner hike perfect for children, which ends with a photo op. There's also a ton of waterfalls in the area. Mud Creek Falls, Bridal Veil, vale, Dry Falls, Minnehaha, and Tallulah are very close. Tallulah Gorge State Park has an interpretive center with a display of all things natural and geological about the area. You can check it out before or after you hike around the Tallulah Gorge Rim. Alternatively, with a permit, you can hike down to the bottom of the gorge and play in the river. Near the top is a suspension bridge with an amazing view of the falls. Also, there is boating on Lake Burton or Lake Rabin, gem mining in Franklin, North Carolina, the ruby capital of the USA, horseback riding at the Dillard House Stables, trout fishing at Andes, fly fishing in any of the rivers, and you can even book a falconry lesson. If you want a little culture, check out the Foxfire Museum, which tells all about the primitive living. You can also check out the tours and tastings for Moonshine Distillery, R.M. Rose Distillery, and 12 Spies Vineyard. If you like museums, check out the Scottish Tartan Museum in Franklin, North Carolina, which takes you through the history of Scotland. If you want something to keep the kiddos entertained at night, enjoy a wholesome night at the Tiger Drive-In Movie Theater. If you don't mind a day trip, you can head west to explore the Bavarian village of Helen, Georgia. The area is perfect for a scenic motorcycle or car ride. The famous Tale of the Dragon is only a short ways away, and you can pick up a map in their office full of motorcycle routes in the area. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.